Hey there everybody, this is Wild Goat and I'm here in another adventure on Minecraft Earth. So kind of, well, I'm super excited. I'm not a little, I'm super excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> Hold on a second. Chicken, come closer. Come closer, I want to harvest you, chicken. Really quickly here, there's some super awesome things about Minecraft Earth. Uh, I just felt something. Hold on. There's a cow. Look at this, everybody. I got a cow. I want to get him. I need two uncommon... Nope, just a common cow. I need two uncommon mobs for one of my quests here. But really quickly, before I go over any more of the quests, there's some things here on the side that I think some of you might be wondering about. I love the journal. You can see everything that you've collected the entire time you've been playing. What does it say I have? I have 244. There's 502 things in the game. Wow, I need to get some more collecting done. I love the animals area though. You can actually get rewards. I don't know when I'm ever gonna find a midnight chicken. Maybe someday, maybe someday I will. I'm not sure why um, I don't have the albino cow and I don't recall collecting the reward for the cow. So I'm a little concerned about that and I'm still missing two of the sheep, an inky sheep and a rocky sheep, but I found all the pigs. I got all the pigs. I love it. I was looking for a spotted pig forever. Finally found one. I was so excited. There's a little bit of information about each of the animals when you click on them here. I love the woolly cows. He's so cute. They're shaggy coats. They actually shake off their shaggy coats everywhere too. It's fun. The woolly cow's coat can be sheared for gorgeous brown wool that can be used for crafting. Yes, please. Absolutely. If I need more wool. I'm afraid to shear my moo bloom though. You can shear it if you're lucky and you might find a beautiful new buttercup. Will it grow, grow back its buttercups though? Or does it become like the mushroom in regular Minecraft and it turns into a regular cow? How many of these do I have? I have, what, what? I have two. I could possibly try it and see. Hmm. The cluck shrooms too. I was wondering if you can shear them, but I've never tried. <laughs> these guys are crazy though. Let me tell you, you put them down on a build plate and they just run like crazy. I did find out recently that some of these rewards, like that cluck shirt, and what is this? The horned sheep vest? I don't think I have any idea. Oh, down here is one with the bunnies. I forgot about the bunnies. Bold rabbit jersey. You can use those in this game, Minecraft Earth, as well as in Minecraft Bedrock. So if you have Bedrock Edition and you like to collect some things, you can do that cross-platform. Love it. So super awesome. The other thing that I really, really enjoy are these seasons. I'm in season four and um, I'm working on collecting two uncommon mobs. That's why I was really hoping that that chicken, the cow, whatever it was that just came into the build or to came into range that I was hoping it was a um, uncommon, but it wasn't. I already completed this one though. Oh, ta-da, oh, the parrot. What do I need to do? I need to craft eight cookies. Absolutely. Let's, let's, um, Oh, you're going to come into the crafting area here. Collect your beetroot soup from earlier. <laughs> the crafting is a little bit different than normal Minecraft crafting, I think, too. Um, some of the things, I don't know, I was a little wondering if they're built differently as well. You can click on these different um, tabs up here at the top to get through them easier, but I have honestly just found a click on that. Cook. 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 How many did I need to make? I think I needed eight. Eight? Yes, see, I've got plenty of everything. Whoa, 16. I only need eight. Ooh, I've got 24 cocoa beans and 13 wheat. I need to go and get some more wheat. I keep using it all up. It's gonna take three minutes to craft those. Awesome. I should have the parrot soon. I am so excited. Oh man, I think these, these quests here are tons of fun. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. Two common adventure crystals two uncommon mobs. You can get to it however you want to and then just keep moving down the line. And there's usually an awesome thing at the end here. Eat rabbit stew in an adventure and you get whatever this thing is. Rogue archer tunic. And once again, you can use that in Minecraft bedrock as well. Ooh, what is this? A bone spider. Oh, don't I have, I think I have a melon golem. Oh, more bunnies. Yes. Oh, look at this. Ooh, a diamond ax. Hatch three chicken hatch. I don't think I have enough eggs for that. Anyways, I want the parrot. <laughs> 
The quests are super fun and usually pretty easy to do. The daily quests can't be reset. They don't have any um, anything that you can do to, to reset them. You just have to get them and every day, 16 hours, whatever, 24 hours, I have 16 hours left to get these. These quests down here, the tappable ones though, you can definitely change. Collect five arrows from an adventure, collect one rare mob, collect one horned sheep. I have yet to find another horned sheep. I've got a few, but I, I they're hard to get. I don't know what it is that, the, is there a certain time of the day to get the horned sheep? I'm not sure. You can just click, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, the trash can, and it'll give you a different tappable later. So that's pretty easy. These boosts, I love the idea of boosts. I think I have several of them as well. I have yet to try anything with them. I haven't done anything with them. What is this one? A radius boost. Player interaction radius on the map is increased. Super tappable. I have six, it looks like. It looks like I have one of these. Mm, you can get you can get these different ones with gems as well. If you wanted to buy, yes, that says buy more. See, this one says use, and those other ones say buy. You can get these as you're completing those um, season quests. As you complete these, you can get some sometimes. Where is one? Oh, right here, an attack boost. Nice, I kind of would like that. Oh, what was this first one up here? A mining boost. Oh, I think the cookies are done. Let's go get them out of the oven. Uh, crafting box. <laughs> I have eight cookies. I should now get a parrot. Look, I can get them. <gasps> I am so excited. I got the parrot. What is this? Experience points. I got experience points. What else do I need to do? Defeat five zombies with an axe. Hatch three chickens on a build plate. Collect ten apples from trees. I need a build plate with just trees. Look at this. Where's my parrot? Look at him. Polly may want a cracker, but cookies are bad for its health. It's in the jungle. It's passive. That is my first parrot. What did I get over here that was... No, the cookies. Got it. He should be here. He should be here. Where? Where? There it is. Oh, I'm so excited. So he's in my inventory and I can just place him on any build plate I would like to. I think he's just called a parrot, right? There he is right there. There's my parrot. Should we go look at him? Will he fly away? He'll stay, right? Let's go look at him. This is my, my garden build plate. I should probably just get rid of that little house there, but I like the way it looks too. I had to, to kind of redecorate it, but look, that chicken is crazy. Let's go see what the parrot does. There he is. Just gonna sit there, buddy? Gonna do anything? There he goes. What's he, what, what? Okay. Why are all the critters attracted to water? <laughs> There's the parrot with my woolly cow, one of my horned sheep, my cluck shrooms, and my happy muddy pig in his muddy water. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. It's really neat to be able to have pets and animals that are familiar to Minecraft, but also these new ones that you get to collect that are maybe totally different than you'd ever see in Minecraft. You might see them in modded Minecraft, but not necessarily the vanilla one. I think it's awesome. I'm super happy to have the parrot. Stay out of the mud. Oh my goodness, he has just become a muddy bird. Get out of the mud. Thanks so much for joining me as I checked out this adventure. Let me know what kind of adventures you're having on Minecraft Earth. I'd love to hear from more people who are playing the game and I'll see you next time in the next video or live stream. Goodbye everybody, hugs for all.